Uh, it's been raining for like three days, so I can't do, can't really do any fishing around here. So we're gonna do a little urban exploration instead. Even though it doesn't really look like an urban area, we're right in the middle of the city. And I don't know. There. Uh, I've been out in this area before in some of the videos, but uh, we're gonna go a different trail and try to find some. Uh, well, we'll show you if we find it. <laughs> it's a surprise. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> Any luck? Nah. <laughs> now that it's all overgrown. Guess nobody's been through here lately. Still want to go? <laughs> or has somebody gone through there? Because <laughs> that's the path, but I guess they haven't been, they haven't mowed it lately. Ah. Spider. Spiders? Yeah. <laughs> we got to try to stay along that path. Hell, it might be easier to just walk through the tall grass. <laughs> You want to hold the knife so you feel better? <laughs> I don't think I need it. <laughs> Here, let me see the knife. Go through down there. <laughs> I didn't feel like going around that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's easier to go through here. <laughs> yeah, maybe somebody has been through here. <laughs> this is why I told you to wear pants. I tell Jeff every time we go somewhere, I tell him to wear pants and he always wears shorts. That's a good shot right there. One of those big golden orbs. It's a little one though. See, it's almost like it's like you're supposed to come down here. See, it's just that one spot that was tall. Hmm? They're probably planning for it at one point. Well, no, I mean they keep it mowed actually, because there are uh, what we're looking for is down here, and it is still maintained a little bit for the families. But nobody ever comes down here; they just keep it mowed. Maybe we'll find a homeless camp or something. <laughs> that's just, that's odd. Big rock in the middle of nothing. These are tire marks right here, look. Somebody's driven a truck through here. Right there. It's weird that they don't show up anywhere else. That must be where they park. Don't remember any of this. Doesn't look like we can go this way. I don't know. Maybe can we go that way? Huh. Unless we completely pass by what we were looking for. <laughs> one of us would have noticed there's a white cross fixed to one of the trees. Dude, why are we not playing Pokemon right now? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, these plants aren't native. <laughs> but it should be around here somewhere. Like I, I found it when I was like 10 or 11. And then I visited it again in high school with some other friends just to make sure it was still there. And that's been about 15 years now. Little pink flags. There's probably electrical lines under the ground. 
here. <laughs> At least there's no thorns on this. There you go. And if it's this overgrown, then maybe they're not maintaining it anymore. Maybe we're up on the other side of the mission where people's houses used to be. <laughs> There's some smashed bricks down over here. Old tin cans and stuff. used to be some kind of structure right here. But you know, we need to stay as close to that bike trail as we can. Because now that I'm thinking about it, that cross was put there so it could be seen from the bike trail, just nobody knows about it. Okay, this looks better. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wasn't a cemetery. <laughs> yeah. Well, my dad told me back when he was a kid there were 40 to 50 graves just scattered all over the place out here. Not part of the cemetery, they're just, but they had like limestone markers and marble headstones and all that. I only ever found three of them. <laughs> Where did this come from? Little creek is probably part of the aqueduct system that we saw earlier. But I, it shouldn't be on this side of us. <laughs> but look, we're in a path again. It looks like there used to be a fence here. Want to go fishing? <laughs> I only brought one rod. Hold up. Big ass wolf spider right there. Yep, there it is. <laughs> this looks like a telephone pole is down over here, but it's a tree. Two of them. Actually, it looks like it's been burnt. You know, moisture wicking shirts are not good for glasses. cleaning your glasses. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Scared myself there. Big ass spider. That looks like it's trying to hide again. <laughs> I, uh, he was right here in front of my face. I couldn't even see him. Right here in front of my face, I couldn't even see him. Yeah. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. You like You got to look like around. Yeah, this looks Look, roof shingles. <laughs> That's how San Antonio is helping the homeless problem. They're just leaving building supplies lying around. You know, it's entirely possible that when they remodeled everything, they removed the graves. That's possible. But it was they're further away, out of the way of everything, so they shouldn't have been up in there. I'm sorry, that. Look, this looks like a path right here. <laughs> yeah. That's a spider. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there is the spider. <laughs> Look at that one. Actually, I didn't see that one. There was another one. I just saw something jump across and run it through the right. grass there. I'm not sure what the GoPro is pointing at, but look at the size of that thing compared to my hand. It's the, it's, all, it's the same size as the palm of my hand. 
I don't want to reach too close to it though because he flinched. You're not one of those people that says you got bit by a bee, are you? No, I got stung by a bee. Yeah, that pisses me off. You get bit by something with a mouth, you get stung by something with a stinger. Yeah. I don't know, the spiders are getting bigger. <laughs> that could not be a good thing. And there's a hornet's nest in there. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look at these big ass ants. Are those fire ants? Just big red ants. Fire ants are actually normal Smaller. size. These will yeah. fuck you up though. You know what? This could be the trail entrance. Because I know it's all, it seems like it's about halfway between Espada and San Juan. But let's uh, take a break and regroup. Out here with the uh, Rexatius, the rugged outdoorsman. <laughs> <laughs> that is some scary shit, man. I know they can't hurt you, but those, those are some fucking scary looking spiders, man. And there's webs all over through here. Look, there's a stick with the pink marker on it. There's an orange ribbon hanging from that tree. And I don't know if this is the way we came or not, but that looks interesting down that way. Why would you tie a ribbon off? to a vine. I, I get putting it on the trees, but why is it on a vine? I guess that means I can't cut this vine down. Look, we're in a path. Here's a little creek with the bridge on it. Okay, okay. This is good. I remember this bridge. There's a couple of, yeah. I think that's the cemetery across there. This is good, this means we're close. This is, yeah, dude, yeah, we, we found it, we're close. Oh crap, there's a mausoleum just way over here out by itself. <laughs> Check it out. And a lot of unmarked graves too. I thought this was a mausoleum. It's facing the wrong direction if it is. Francis Smith. Oh, they, they bricked in the doorway. I wonder, this must have been the Smith family out here remembering. <laughs> Six pack and a big Bud Light. Somebody was out here for a long time. Okay, where do we come in at? <laughs> this is the far, far end of uh, Mission Burial Park. Dick Tips owns it. <laughs> Not over here. <laughs> But dude, every time that guy does a commercial on TV, it's like, man, let your wife do the commercials. I mean, it, you're trying to do something real serious here, but your name is Dick Tips. <laughs> Come on. It sounds like it's a joke. It, it is weird that this mausoleum is out here by itself, right? Yeah, that's weird. Like, maybe they're planning on putting more, I mean, but, I and it's it. facing the wrong direction. Why is it facing the wrong direction? It, I think they're just not finished with this area. Like they're planning it out. Cause look, it's like a roundabout. Yeah. Like they're probably planning on building something special right there for Dick Tips. Right <laughs> in the middle of all of it. That's your Dick Tips. <laughs> when he dies. With a gravestone in one hand and a stack of money in the other. Dude, just go by Richard. I mean, you're <laughs> intentionally making yourself named, you, you gave yourself the name Dick Tips. Like, like your parents did not give you the name Dick. They gave you the name Richard. You know? Now I do remember one thing from when I when I first found these graves when I was a kid. We were riding the bikes through everywhere. And there was it was right after the rain, kinda like this, but it was right after the floods receded. And there was a spot where the the bike with the trail, which is I know I know the trail now, we can follow that. But the trail and the river bend like it curved and right at the river bend there was a coffin sticking out of the ground. Yeah, like I, I specifically remember that because it freaked me out for a long time. And uh, I've gone back looking for that a couple of times and it's, I guess they uh, took care of it right away. Okay, just for the people at home, that was the cemetery property. We've just crossed over a creek. We're no longer on cemetery, cemetery property. We are in a city park. We're walking along the creek here, got the river on the other side of us. Got big wolf spiders and orb spiders everywhere. 
Oh man, this is the path we're supposed to be on, but there's a down tree up here blocking it off. Man, this tree has been uprooted pretty seriously. There's a lot of room up underneath that tree. Yeah, the tree fell down and blocked off the path. This one's got thorns in it. <laughs> it's actually an old, con the bridge is concrete and everything, but it's so old and hasn't been maintained. It's over, it's got dirt covering it. Like it looks like it's natural. And look at the plant overgrowing it there. You can't even see where the water goes through. It just looks like it ends. Holy shit. Just sitting there. I don't know what kind of snake that is. Damn, I left my, I put my camera in the bag. Let me... Oh damn, he's gone now. He was just sitting there. Chilling. Still there, going real slow. I don't know what kind of snake that is. Maybe I got him on the GoPro. Uh, now I'm not sure about going that way. <laughs> it looks crazy. So, try to scare him out of there. Go on. <laughs> See, this is why you need to make a lot of noise when you walk through the woods. You don't want to sneak up on anything. He was just out here absorbing the the rainwater soft ground too watch out can't really get to it we're kind of cut off with all this stuff here yeah. and the ground's gonna be soft we might not be able to climb up that but we saw a snake That's a good thing. and it wasn't a regular brown water snake like we see all over the place here i don't know what that was it was like red and yellow and brown but it didn't have rings on it, there were stripes, like racing stripes. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, run that way. Come on. He's not scared of anything. Look at that shit. He's just moving right back to the center every time. Oh, fuck, look at that. Alright dude, yeah, go, run. Get away, go away. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they can't really hurt you. Because there's only two kinds of spiders in Texas that can hurt you. And these aren't one of them. <laughs> yeah, and that's a, on a board too, it must be, I want to go fishing now, <laughs> this looks like a good spot, the only problem is which way from here, there's a path, on this side it looks like it goes up to the cemetery property again, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere over here, oh this is metal, park boundary, Okay, it's good to know. So I'm standing on the part of a cemetery in the park. <laughs> Out the park, in the park. Out the park. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where we're going now. I don't think the, tr the graves are on this side. Well, it was along that path with the stone bridges, I know that. I don't remember seeing the creek from where it was though. There's gonna be... A, a tree on this side with a white cross yeah, on it. Okay, we got a stick sticking up in the middle of the trail up here with a orange on it. I don't know what that means though. CP5, G and D. I think it fell. Because at one point there was nothing obstructing any of these trails. See a way through? Should be. No, I don't think this knife has ever gotten this much use before. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to come back maybe in the fall or the winter when everything's dead. Because we can't find anything out here. We're still walking around in the middle of the woods. Uh, we found some signs that were, I think we were close to it, but we couldn't actually find it. Uh, some stuff that I remember from seeing back when I found them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna get, it's starting to get dark, it's raining a little harder. Uh, we're gonna head on.
That is a pretty weird one. This made me think of something that we were both